going to make an apple cinnamon pancake with our chef Jody and brilliant assistant, which is the best, Gia. Wait, no, me. <laughs> right, and guys. Now let's get started. <laughs> Welcome to tonight's little cookery lesson <laughs> with myself and my wonderful assistant here. Now, today we are using the amazing Pinch of Nom book. So, if you Pinch haven't seen. Book. Pinch of Nom. It is great because it's got lots of low calorie recipes in. And if you're small and you want to learn how to bake, you also improve your reading. <laughs> so this is the recipe. It's the apple and cinnamon pancakes. Wait. Which work out at, yeah? We might not be using all the ingredients. So it might look like that, it might not, but yours can, okay? <laughs> She's great. Okay, so it will take us 10 minutes to prepare, 10 minutes to cook. So this video should be lasting about 20 minutes. They are 341 calories for the whole serving and the serving is quite big. Uh, they are vegetarian and they're also gluten free. So we are gonna be following it to the letter. So yes. before we get going with the actual cooking bit, we're gonna prepare we're gonna the ingredients. Show you the frying pan. So Gia's going to show you the frying pan. As you, you see, see, it has cute faces and it's small. So it's going to be a small, cute face. If you don't like it, then it's okay. It's very professional. Thank you. Professional, okay. which I am. So Gia, let's just work out the ingredients. So 40 grams of oats. 40 grams. So, so in this gonna... bowl, we have 40 grams of oats. Now we're going to... Next, we need one apple which is grated. So, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do it live, because I do want to show you how it's not as difficult as it sounds. If somebody says, can you grate an apple, you think, is that going to be easy? So I'm going to show you. So here's one apple, look. Just a normal one apple. Now, why I'm doing this, uh, my assistant is going to get two eggs out the uh, packet. Egg packet. And just pop them in that bowl. Where we where we had the eggs in before, Gia. So, I'm just, you see how I'm just, I'm just using a normal grater. Obviously, if you've got one of those special machines, then you It'll can't look great, you could do that. But I just want to show you how actually easy, I was surprised myself how easy it was. So what Gia's doing over the other side I of the kitchen, she's just breaking two eggs into that bowl and I can't even open the egg box so I'm breaking in and she's gonna whisk it so just open the front bit that's oh, it oh that's smart now Gia is being very hygienic she's got her gloves on I've washed my hands thoroughly before we started um, and as you can see this have... apple is grating nicely now obviously make sure you don't grate the core because you this? don't want some crunchy bits in. Put that in the little bag. Do you want me to do it? Yes, please. Right. So we're getting rid of that. If you're just joining us, we're making the pinch of nom apple and cinnamon pancake. Make sure you doesn't get real like mine. So the last time we were live in this kitchen, here in Little Over, yeah. we made the banana and egg pancake. This is better, okay? So if you hated that, you would maybe like that. So if you tried those banana pancakes and weren't that keen, as I said, we're trying the apple ones this time. Obviously, apples are a little bit sweeter. So and I'm because guessing. you're adding the, the cinnamon as well, it's going to give you a nice texture. Now, I'm just going to wash my hands around this side of the... Kitchen Island. He's right there. Right? I'm over here. It's kind of bigger, as you see, so it's closer to you. Right, Gia, so you have whisked those two eggs. No problem. So we'll go down the ingredients list. So I've got one apple which is grated, like so. And then I've got an other apple which is sliced. You can see that it's not enough. You see, you that is see. sliced. You can see it's not it's okay keep on whisking then we also need a quarter teaspoon of um, cinnamon it. which is here dun, dun, dun. cinnamon wait by the way if you see I've just came back from school no I haven't I'm just not that clean so that's why I'm in these clothes do not be shocked this will happen a lot bye <gasps> 
And then also, <laughs> the recipe here says about using sweetener. And as you know, we're not big fans of sweetener. So what I'm going to use instead is some real sugar, which, where's the sugar? Oh yeah, it's over this side. So I'm gonna replace that with just a teaspoon of sugar. Um, Wait, then... make sure to send it, Mum. Okay. I remember what we're saying at the end. I'm saying it, and then you're just like, clapping with me. Right, <laughs> two eggs is next on the list, beaten, so GG is beating those now, and then we need two tablespoons of fat-free natural yoghurt, which is here, game? yeah, you'll be doing that, uh, we've got some cooking spray, now as I said I'm not a fan of low-fat cooking spray, so as an alternative for a couple of calories extra, I'm using some cold-pressed rapeseed British oil. So it's really important that it is cold pressed so you are able to take it to a high temperature. And then the final thing is some fresh berries to garnish. And as you saw earlier, these are the these strawberries. Have been eaten a bit. Now we've got a comment from uh, Pam Sangera there saying it. that it's looking amazing. So thank you very so much, she's like, Pam. It's looking great. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's right. We're now going to get started and I'm going to amaze you now, guys. You, yeah. are, you are really going to be amazed. So what we need to do is blitz those oats so they're flour. So check out this machine. It's a very tiny, cute machine, like the little faces. So look, it's a micro. Is it actually micro? Yeah. How not? do you know? Because it's tiny. <laughs> it's, a, it's a micro food uh, blender. Oh. So what I'm going to do is going to get those 40 grams of oats. They're just regular oats, and I'm just going to pour them I've, into I've the blender. Question. What's How the question? How can I always laugh when I bake? <laughs> because you are quite funny. Yes, I'm right, funny. so then I'm going to put the lid on, and then I'm going to plug this in over here. This is our nearest power point, so I think you can still see, and I'll put it there. Ready? So, Wow. I'll give him a little shake. By the way, it's not an electric whisk. You do a manual. <laughs> and we use a manual whisk. Hey, okay, presto! I will bring it over to show you. The oat flour is it's now ready. Baked. So that was like one minute to do that. So that is now ready. Good, yeah. And what we're gonna do <gasps> is tip that straight in the bowl. It bubbled. Ready. It bubbled. It bubbled. It no, bubbled. I do that again. Okay. So we it's now bubbled. have the oat flour in the bowl. Done it. So let's look at the next thing. So blitz the food, blitz the oats in the food presser or processor or a blender until finely ground like a flour. Yeah. Tip into a bowl and mix in 40 grams of grated apple. So this is the grated apple. That's what it looks like. So Gia, can you put half of that into this? Use the spoon. So we're now adding half the grated apple into the bowl. Keep going. We've only got 20 minutes. <laughs> right, let's do one more big spoon. Stop, that's it. Great. So then we're going to add in, so we've got the apple in there. Right, the milk. So this is the milk here. It's ready to go. So this is 50 mils of milk. I'm going to use that with because I want to. Okay, so 50 mils of milk is now going in. It's all you want in. Uh, and then the next thing we're adding in is the cinnamon. Now the cinnamon is a quarter of a teaspoon. And as you know, I'm, uh, I'm fine at guessing. This is the sort of thing they did at uh, catering college. They, they make you uh, understand what a quarter of a teaspoon looks like. And then we're gonna add the sweetener. Now I say we're not adding sweetener, we're gonna have, add the sugar. So I'm gonna get now, I made these for myself and I did just add one teaspoon of sugar. However, we've got some boys who are not on Slim Brother, so I'm going to put two in for these. 
but normally I would just add one tea heat teaspoon of sugar. Uh, and if you know anything about heat yeah. teaspoons of sugar, that's 17 calories, Can ladies and gentlemen. It? Now, wait there, and we need to then add the eggs. So I'm gonna move you over this side, G. So now we're gonna add in the eggs to that bowl. It looks bubbly. So yeah, so it's nicely beaten. And these are all your ingredients for the batter. So I want you to just whisk that all really, really nicely. Don't worry, I can do it. And obviously what we're aiming to look like Wait, is to, to, to look like a batter ready for the fryer. So, right. You can't leave the viewers on their own, my assistant. Stay with the viewers. Right, give it a good mix. Okay, so why uh, my assistant is uh, mixing? Amazing. Do you <laughs> do you want to mix that or do you want to do the topping? I want to do amazing. <laughs> You're gonna have to choose. Yeah. Okay, so you keep on doing that, and why we're doing that, I'm gonna do the other part, which is mix the yogurt in a bowl. By the way, this smells like apple crumble. With the remaining grated apple and a pinch of sweetener. So. Sweetener slash Here sugar. Here I've got my, the remainder of my apple. And what I'm going to add in here is two tablespoons of fat-free yogurt. So one, mm. two tablespoons of fat-free yogurt. Now, as I said, I did do a test earlier and make sure this recipe was okay. And earlier I added one teaspoon of sugar, which is 17 calories, and to be honest, it was too sweet. So what I'm gonna add this time is just half a teaspoon of sugar. But again, we're making it for the boys, so I'm actually gonna throw another the one in. The boys, <laughs> we know the boys, okay? We know the boys. Now I'm hoping by the time we finish this video, the boys will be here and they'll be able to test it live, but maybe <laughs> they probably won't be keen on coming on. <laughs> Dad, we always want to know. As always. One of the boys. As always, like, Summers, we won't be giving out our exact location because I know you'd all be racing around to try these lovely pancakes. And see me. So, I've mixed in there the yogurt, the grated apple, and the sugar, and that is your lovely topping. Great. So, if we go back to my lovely assistant. Hi! Does it look like um, pancake batter yet? Mm. It does. <laughs> now, if you look at the photo, because when we were making it earlier, we thought, you know, it doesn't really look like a pancake batter. But if you look at the photo of what they're going to look like, they are rustic style. So you're not looking for like this, like perfectly flat pancake mixture. Because it's made of apple, you are looking for something rustic. And because we've used red apples instead of green apples, again, ours is gonna look slightly different to that. It did. Okay, so next up, um, spray a large frying pan Can with I some spray? low calorie cooking spray and spray? place it on a medium heat. So as we said earlier, we are going to be using some cold pressed rapeseed oil instead. And the most important thing with this is that we use a little brush, which is here. So all I'm going to do is put a tiny little bit in the middle one. This is the Aldi one, by the way, which is two pounds something. And with my little frying pan, little. it is an amazing frying pan, it's not I'm just going to grease up all the little areas. Now, this brush that I'm using, you can see it's slightly dwarf-like, because I did melt it last time I was here. So be really careful not to use these things in a um, hot pan. So I'm using this in a cold pan, and that is really vital. Um, I will be bringing a replacement for my friend, who's one of our slim sisters, uh, and I've got one of those ceramic plastic ones. Can I do Oh yeah, sure. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that, but I'm just, I'm just greasing it up nicely. Okay, lovely, great. I'm happy with that. So, so then, what I'm going to do 
is move the book slightly to the side. Yeah, because my mum loves the book. So we're going to... We've got the heat on. I'm going to turn on the extractor a little bit now. Just to the fan at the top. Oh. Okay, so as the recipe says, spray a large frying pan with the oil and place over medium heat. Because we're live on Facebook, I'm going to put it on a high heat. And then we're going to cool it down to a cool one. No, it's a medium heat. <gasps> Maybe I'm If right. you've made these before, because I know a lot of you have got the Pinch of Nom book. Pinch of Nom. Do you enjoy them? Do you, do prefer, you read? Do you prefer the pancake? I have a question. With... Do you let your kids read? You need to. <laughs> um... They improve their writing. <laughs> Yes, if you've got any kids watching, Pinch of Nom is great for practicing your reading. <laughs> right. So, we're heating up now. Heating up. And I've uh, got my... Pan. I've got my spatula here spatula. ready to go. You like SpongeBob with a spatula. And then we just need a spoon. I'll get the spoon. Here we go. And so then we're going to spoon the, the mixture. Right, so let's get rid of the whisk. Yeah. Get rid of the whisk. Mm. I'll just throw that. It's good in my mouth. Look at your Now, as I said, I turned it up really high, and I'm now going to take it down to a very low heat, purely because if you look at the size of our hob, it's a massive industrial it's smoking, size. Smoking. Yeah, it's normal to smoke. And uh, what we're going to do. You normally smoke a fire. And then what we're going to do is just put in a little amount of this. Now if it sizzles out of control, you've got your heat too much, guys. So you don't want it to completely sizzle out of control, because obviously you want it to cook through. Now, you're going to be surprised how you turn out, because you look cute. Now, just when right. we did our test earlier, this pan really is amazing. So, it is. If you are thinking of buy, buying a special pancake, buy pan, it. We would definitely recommend it. Now, where was this one from, Gigi? Uh, it was from Costa. I want to Costco. I can't pronounce it. And um, it's in, It was in like one of the food stores, which I remember. And it was. But in it was quite a few box. years ago, wasn't it? Yeah. So I'm not sure if they still have it. If they do, buy it or search online. So, yeah, if you search... On Amazon. If you okay. search Smiley, Smiley Pancake pan. Fryer, oh. I'm sure it's going to get there. Yeah. And what really amazes me is the fact that there's just enough mixture... And that it actually works. ...for all these smiley faces. I'm not going to put any more, so I've got enough to do one more as well. Great. Oh, wow. So... Let's continue reading because I didn't read the official instructions. So spoon four equal quantities of the pancake batter into a hot pan, making sure they don't touch each other. So if you were using a normal pan like that, you would just put them, um, you know, you do this little pancake. Now, if, like my assistant, you've got one of these special pans, you could use one of those because that is quite cute. Uh, but if you've got an industrial like family this, making one like this, and that, of course, is ideal. Um, so make sure they don't touch each other if you're using a normal pan. You may need to cook them in two batches if your pan is not big enough. Cook for one to two minutes until the stop top starts to set, and the bottom is golden brown, and then carefully flip the pancake and cook for a few minutes until the bottom has coloured and the pancakes are cooked through. Now, if, like me, you think, I'll be clever, I won't use any oil whatsoever because I'll really cut my calories out. When I tried to do that previously, when I was making the egg and banana it pancakes, didn't work out. it stuck, you couldn't turn it, and it just turned into like scrambled eggs. So <laughs> don't, don't try and cheat the pinch of non cooking gurus because they've tried most things um, that we try to do. To I want to say something. There's calories. a reason you have oil. So make the reason happen. Otherwise, why do you have oil? Right, we'll do a little test now as well. Do you Thank know the you. benefits of eating oil? No. The benefits I... of eating oil 
is the fact that you'll get good hair, good nails, good skin. So unlike sugar, which doesn't provide any nutritional benefits, remember there is some benefits to using a few calories on oil. Now as you can see already, just by looking at those pancakes, they are coming on really, really nicely. So I'm just going to give them a couple of minutes. I'm going to give them a couple more seconds because I just want to make sure. I'll be sitting down because I'm very small and I cannot stand because my legs are weak. But he's still there. I have to see. You see my hand? <laughs> right, so Jiri is still here with us. Um, and we're now ready to flip. Don't okay? Name. Sorry, G is. Uh... No, you just told my name. <laughs> There's no point in changing that. Right, so we're going to flip over. Yeah. I'm going to do the middle one because that's where I start. This is where you're going to be amazed. Okay? What? Because please? look at this. Look at the So I'm just going to show you close up. But look how this pan makes them. And just the, the quality of this pan is just amazing because it really does make them turn out really, really nice. So I'm going to flip that over. I'm going to flip them all over. So Gia's just gone to check and one of them and one of the boys are here. The other one's still yet to come. Right, so I'm now So I'm slowly flipping these. It does say in the recipe as well to carefully do it. Now the other thing as well about the banana, remember the banana, it fell apart quite easily. The apple seems to be we've got more the oats stronger. in there as well. So yeah, more stronger. Ah, so I'm fully fully flipped over. Look at those. Do you know what? They almost look like biscuits. They look so great. Hi! This is one of the boys getting right. in. <laughs> okay, the boy doesn't want to be in. The boy would you like to would you like to be in that video? Yeah, I'm the new chef here. Hi! Right, so welcome this Milan to is my our big brother. He does not love me, so he does not love me and I have games. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Milan. Hi. Hi. So, you tried the egg and banana pancakes that we made and you were not a fan, were you? No. No, okay. No. So, let me tell you what's in these before. Apple. So there's apple, Cinnamon. but there's also oats in there as well. Cinnamon. Milk, eggs, you know, so it, it's almost like a real pancake. Do you think you're going to like them? Yeah. <laughs> Whee! Yeah. It's not sounding convincing, is I, it? I don't make it. I don't make it. Now, Gia, can we show them your special ingredient? If you are making these for children as well. Very good. Makes everything, so <laughs> makes everything better. So, because Millen isn't counting his calories, he's going to add a little bit of golden syrup. Gia, on the other hand, is going to add these. Gia, do you want to show them what you're hey, adding? If you're a girl and you're a kid and you love unicorns, I add these unicorn sprinkles. So, those are unicorn sprinkles, which again, Oh, it's very nice, nice for children to add. Um, as I said, this was really sweet earlier. This was just yogurt and the grated. If you have these, make a hoop with whipped cream. Put these on the top. Then put nice lemon, so it's not too sweet. I want to try something. I'm still in this video, but just not for the moment. Right, we're now going to serve these out, okay? So, we're now going to serve these onto a plate. That was old. Mummy dissolved. Mummy dissolved. Mummy dissolved. Mummy Look how amazing that. And as I said, for 341 calories, you can have all these pancakes. Which I'm not used to, to be honest with you. When I cook, um, you know, Weight Watchers or low calorie recipes. Hi, I'm back. You normally get quite a small portion, so it's so nice to get such a big portion. Right, that was the, oh, there we go. So that is before we finish it off with the decoration. So the decoration is just going to be the slices of apple and, my strawberries. and the little bit of strawberry. So, we're going to put full slices of apple. Right, can you put the slices of... Oh, 
I didn't know you were eating them. Do you want to put a few strawberries on the plate? I'll, I'll, I'll put strawberries on the plate. Here we go. Right, don't use them all. <laughs> He's so bad. Right, stop. That's it. We no, just have three. And then all we need to add then is our yoghurt and apple mixture. Okay, so, yeah, Gigi... I didn't go to all of them. Not all of them, just put a little bit on the side, I think. Yeah, no, not all of us want it. Okay, and then just put a little bit on the side as well. You need some Gordon Ramsay. Right, so voila. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is apple and cinnamon pancakes with slices of apple, slices of strawberry, and you've also got there um, the yogurt and apple dip on the side. So we've got a question from Sabrina. Yeah. And it says, Let me I see. only just checked out. <laughs> oh, nice, thank you. Um, so waving to our lovely gang. So now the important bit. It's Milla, me. can you come and try? Let me put it on. Okay. Now can I see the apple? So Wait. if you want to get yourself a. Now let's oh, without go. the syrup, without the cream. No, you need this. Just Try, try it without it. first. Try it without first. Okay, so yeah, try a little bit just like with nothing. But I'm sure you won't like it like that. Right, now try a little bit with that sauce on. You can put it That's mouth. just yogurt and apple. No, I don't like it. I need syrup. He's now going to put a little bit of syrup on. Just don't put too much, huh? put too much syrup on. Get a plate! Oh, you could have said that you don't have a Right, Gia, do you want to try some? I will try it. <laughs> I, I'll just say I did try them earlier and they were really delicious. I did really enjoy them. So, Millen is now just putting a little bit of golden syrup. But even though he's having a little bit of golden syrup, we obviously do want to know about the texture. Wow! Wait. Right, try it. He's also adding a little bit of cream on there as well. This is not including in your 341 calories. Or everyone. if you want to, it's there. Right, how is that? Delicious. Or I didn't show. <laughs> now, I have an important announcement to make. Okay. No, I might. So, the so Chef Jody's friend and also my mother has lost two pounds a day. Cut with me. So we're all here doing my one-to-one, -one. that's actually why I'm here. We're doing a little bit of cooking, and as I said, uh, one of our slimmers has lost two pounds, so thank you for your congratulations. She, she will appreciate that a lot. So, thank you, Millen, for being our taste tester. My name's been Jodie. And this... my little name is... Oh. Miss Helpful. No, for more of the videos, go to youtube.com forward slash Jodie Bunting. Bye for now, guys. Bye. My name is Mr. Keister. <laughs>